Guys, Mark Goldberg here from Mark Vlogs Watches with a quick word for your friend and mine, Archie Luxury, Paul Pluta, AC3, Archibald Chesterfield III. You know, he invented the quick whist watch check, and uh, the rest of us on YouTube, well, we just stole it. Help keep Archie full-time on YouTube by liking this video, watching this video, tell your fuckhead friends, and make sure to subscribe to his Patreon. And now, Archie Luxury. Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the Archie Luxury Paul Pluto channel. Today guys, I'm doing a paid review. This here is review 9090C6. <laughs> and this here is for Cliff. Cliff. So 90C6. And uh, before we start this, this uh, fine review here, let's do a quick whist, whist watch check. I'm wearing a Jager Lucultra Reverso Grand Date. This is my sports beta. Okay, guys, let's have a look here. This here is from Cliff. And Cliff goes, Hi, Archie. My name is Cliff from Melbourne. I've sent you a donation via PayPal. I have recently bought a Jacques, Jacques, Jacquette, Dross, Jacquette Dross Grand Second. This is a, this is, there is very little review online for this watch and the brand in general. I know this brand does not hold its value that good as a Rolex, but that doesn't concern me. I love it. I love it. Can you please share some thoughts, uh, share some of your thoughts on this brand watch as you are very knowledgeable? especially for their entry-level watch and how they are doing in recent years. I've attached an image of the watch below. I hope you have an amazing day. Many thanks, Cliff. Okie dokie. That's uh, very, very cool indeed. Very nice to get a nice email like that. I love emails like that. It's just, um, it's just cool. I love, I love getting friendly emails friendly emails from uh, the fans the viewers okay so let, let's have a bit of a talk here this is a this is a very interesting um, question that you've gone there so you're a bit of a newbie he's coming into the the hobby and he wants something a little bit nicer than your your every run of the mill Rolex that's the way it goes there so Let's have a bit of a let's have a bit of a look at this 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 watch here that you've you've bought. Um, it's it's quite a quite a quite a nice design to the watch there. Um, it's it's quite quite an inspired sort of uh, very much. It reminds me a lot of the uh, Breguet uh, a Breguet a um, even a regulator paddock, Philippe, there. The Grand Second, inspired by Pocket Watch, created by Pierre Dracot Droz in 1784. Uh, it uh, is avant-garde lines of design. They've got a few different ones with different styles, etc., etc., um, look at it, it. I got a okay. So, so looking at this watch here, it, it's it's quite an attractive watch. It's um, it's something that you would you would obviously um, now if you're a watch person, this is kind of the thinking man sort of watch there. Um, uh, and they, you know, this brand here has released a few, um. The Grand Second, they've also released a chronograph as well. They've done some interesting th things there. Um, and and uh, I was just having a bit of a look around, doing some research on this here. There's a good article by Houdinki. Houdinki also looked at the, the chronograph they, they released of this here. Um, and I've got, to, I've got to be completely honest with you here. This is a brand that um, it's kind of a a, a um, it's very much a niche little boutique sort of uh, a brand there. Um, 
it's it's something that you know it, it is very conservative a lot of people love the sports the sports watchers and it's it's I've got to be honest with you there <clears throat> the prices for this brand here it's it's a bit of a, a tricky situation because they they are um, you know the depreciation on these sort of smaller brands can be pretty savage uh, having a look at chrono 24 you can you can get you can get a nice jacket Dros grande uh, second that's with the you know eight thousand this is sort of a whole range of pricing depending on on um, dial and things like that there it's quite a number uh, this this brand here seems to um, they seem to be how would you put this politely they are really a um, how would I put this politely I want to be nice and encourage you in the horology without really just being nasty but I've got to be honest with you you'd have to be a fucking moron to buy this brand okay these boutique brands do not go well with novice collectors okay fucking stupid that's the term I should use you're a fucking idiot to have bought this sort of watch here and I got to tell you, man, you think you've entered horology. All you've fucking done is you've bought something that is a, this is a one owner watch because there's no one else who is stupid enough to buy one of these. Okay, that's, that's the honest truth there. Yes, they've got some really expensive uh, models there they, they sell. Yes, yes, they do. They do have some really dear models. But the Grand Second, even if you have a look at some of the, the wristwatch sites there, prestigetime.com, you will see them, uh, these watches here, seven to $10,000 range. And the, the honest truth is, um, you haven't even really given me, you tell me what model, you didn't even give me the exact reference because the Jocket draws grand second they've got so many of them uh and I, i've tried to be polite to you but i gotta be totally honest with you these are these are fucking fucking a dog with fleas okay you you really honestly um it's fucking stupid to buy this okay it's unsellable trash I got to tell you, a good friend of mine, Cove, he's a Sydney Watch Exchange. He's actually rebranding, and he's halfway done it. He's kind of, kind of shits me off how he's done it. He's changed his website. It's now Luxuria, Luxuria Watches, but he's still got the sign out the front of the shop that says Sydney Watch Exchange. I, I, I think Cove, you've got to get it all done instantly. You can't sort of have it half half like that but anyhow if you google sydney watch exchange or luxuria it'll come up and cove, cove's got a couple of these sort of similar watches and you know what he's had them for fucking months he's got a what's he got i'll tell you exactly what he's got and this is the same fucking cattle of fish he has a jules audemars okay he's got a jules audemars um which that's Audemars Piguet. That is their that is their um, their dress watch, and I got to tell you, it's about as popular as Rolex's Cellini line. It's um, it's fucking toxic, very much toxic, 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 toxic. Just fucking, he's had this watch for ages. Okay, he's had it for fucking ages and. No bastard wants it. No bastard wants this fucking thing. Uh, it's just fucking, just, I don't understand, you know, in all honesty, just fucking unsellable. Another brand that's unsellable is Parmagani. Fucking Cove's got a few of those. <clears throat> Cove's also got an Arnold and Son. 
an Arnold and Son. He's got an Arnold and Son, and fuck me dead. He's had that from, from day one. And I mean, this is a beautiful watch. It's a beautiful watch. It's rose gold, 40 mil. It's got a beautiful uh, iridescent blue, purpley blue dial. It's got everything going for it. Manual white. It's a fucking piece of art. Box papers. It's in excellent condition. Um, it's it's fucking beautiful. Uh, it's a fucking work of art. Okay? It's so much better than a Patek 5196. But guess what? It's still fucking there. It's still fucking there, okay? It's still fucking there. And it'll probably still be fucking there next year. Okay? It's not fucking moving. It's... It's fucking toxic. Is it a great watch? Yes, it's an amazing watch. It's 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 not gold plated. It's solid gold, solid gold. It's a great watch, but has it sold? No fucking way in the world. That's the same as this fucking piece of shit that you bought. Parmigiani's the same fucking kettle of fish. A fucking it's it's what you call a fucking mistake. That's what it is. It's called a Fucking mistake in the trade. Gerard Perrigay. That's another brand that's just as toxic. You can't give that fucking shit away. Okay? Absolutely fucking garbage. Fucking garbage. Uh, why would you stay... Why would you fucking buy this sort of crap? Is absolute beyond me. As I was saying... He's got the Jules Audemars. Guess what? That's their box papers. Rose gold. It's actually beautiful. 41 mil. <laughs> Jules Audemars. That's their dress watch line. Uh, silver dial. It's got everything correct. You know, this is Audemars Piguet. Fuck me dead. One of the Holy Trinity. Okay, so this is so much. Uh, this watch here. Box papers. Mint. Near mint. Rose gold. 41 mil. Automatic ultra thin. Uh, and guess what? He had a buyer. He sold it. Then the fucking customer came back. I said to him, what the fuck were you doing? Taking that fucking thing back. Are you fucking insane? So, i got to be honest with you. It's the same as this Dracket Druce. Fucking, fucking stupid. It's fucking stupid. Fucking stupid. That's what... You take it to these watch guys, you ring them up and try and sell it. They don't want the fucking thing. They do not want the fucking thing. <coughs> if you want to buy a dress watch, look, the whole market is <clears throat> sports watch. Okay, you want to buy, I, I, I don't really like dress watch, I don't really like sports watches. I love dress watches. I love, like, even my sports watch is a dress watch. Okay, so I can tell you this. You want to buy a dress watch? You buy fucking Patek. You buy Patek Philippe. Is Patek better? Not necessarily. Patek is the brand they want. They don't want this fucking shit. Okay, I want to say this nicely to you, Cliff. Cliff, listen to me. I'm going to say this to you. You are a fucking idiot to buy that brand. Let me say it again in case you missed it. Cliff, buying a Draket Droz. Grande Seconds is fucking stupid, and you are a fucking moron for buying it. Okay, I, I just want to make myself clear. So, that is the truth. So, guys, don't fucking buy this sort of shit. You will, you will never fucking get out of it. Okay, nobody wants this fucking thing. Okay, guys, I am the pontiff. I am the governor's governor. Guys, like, subscribe, tell your fuckhead friends. Don't be afraid to put some nasty comments below. And remember, guys, man cannot survive on Google Ads alone. These paid reviews keep me full time in the chair on YouTube. Without this, I'd be gone. That's right, I'd be gone. So, guys, please keep the paid reviews coming. Google Ads! I cannot survive on Google Ads alone. I'm Paul Pluto. Tell me what you fuckeroonies think of that. Oh.
Hey Archie Luxury fans, if you're into luxury, then you gotta be into 66 Buick Rivieras. Check out my son and I, Alex, as we restore this beautiful 66 Buick. Neighbors are having a picnic, you know, having fun and stuff. Me, I'm doing cars. It's what I've done my whole life. David SW, David SW, David SW. Who does Archie Luxury recommend is the greatest gray market dealer in America? There's only one choice, David SW. That's right, guys. I've got to tell you the honest truth. I have for a long time been looking for the perfect answer. Who do I recommend people go to see? Who do I recommend that people can go and uh, buy watches? And I've got to be honest with you. The greatest, the greatest pre-owned dealer for Rolex, Paddock Philippe, Audemars Piguet, is David SW. David SW. David SW. David SW.com. That's right, guys. I have been looking for a contact who I can very nicely refer people to. I am not in the selling business. Customer service. I'm too old to sell watches. I'm too old. I like to recommend my viewers to a reliable source. In Australia, I've got some great sources. There's uh, Sydney Watch Exchange with Cove, Rani at Vintage Watch Co, Shani, Shani at European Watch Gallery. And in America, who is the best source for pre-owned Rolex? For all the hot models? There's only one person I would recommend, David SW. David SW, David SW. That is the premier source for pre-owned Rolex. I gotta be completely frank and honest with you. Guys, if you are looking for a hot Rolex model, there is only one place you can go to. David SW, David SW, David SW. Let's be honest, guys. There's no point schmoozing schmoozing, schmoozing the dealers, the ADs, they're just a waste of time. Unless you're going to buy 20 pieces, you are wasting your time. What you're better off to do is pay the market premium and go to a good, good pre-owned dealer. Who do I recommend? David SW. David SW. David SW. That's correct, guys. I want to tell you this now. I 100% stand behind David SW. David SW, the greatest pre-owned dealer in the entire United States of America. That's right. The greatest pre-owned dealer for Rolex, for Patek Philippe, for Audemars Piguet, David SW. He even does things like FP Jean. David SW, David SW, David SW. That's right. If you want to buy a pre-owned Rolex, a Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet, there's only one good source I would recommend. David SW, David SW, David SW. I'm Paul Pluter, the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III, and I'm proud to recommend... David S.W. See you later. Thank you for watching this channel.